we are almost done with our game so we have our ball bouncing we can shoot the ball and it splits onto smaller balls so on and so forth now one issue that we are having is that we when we run the game we can shoot how many times we want with our player so we want to strict that or we want to strict our player that he's not able to do that so we can go here in our player script and we can simply say here when we shoot we can simply say can shoot is equal to false now if i go back and if i try to shoot multiple times we see that we are not allowed you can see me or hear me clicking but i'm not shooting that many times because we are not allowing our player to shoot right away after he shoots well for the first time he needs to wait a little bit in order to shoot what we also need to do here is we need to create void on trigger enter so enter 2d and here it will take a collider 2d which is going to be target what we are going to do here is we are going to well kill our player when the ball touches it so we are going to say string name is equal to target dot name dot split so again we are splitting it and this is going to be array so string array name and we are going to check if our name dot length is greater than one meaning that we have collided with the ball and here we are going to check if our name and the element that's at the first index is equal to ball meaning that we have touched our ball so we are going to kill the player for that we are going to create a coroutine so we are going to say i enumerator kill the player and and restart the game so here what we are going to do is we are simply going to move the player on some arbitrary position so we can say transform that position is equal to new vector 3 i don't know let's move our player at 200 by 200 and zero for the z-axis so it will move him out of the scene simulating that he has died and here we are going to say yield return new wait for seconds let's say 1.5 second we are going to wait so one and a half second and then we are going to load or reload the same level so we are going to say application that load level and this is going to load the level that we pass here and we are going to say application dot loaded level name this is going to reload the same level so here we are simply going to say start coroutine and we are going to pass our kill the player and restart the game so notice now if i run the game and if while well, the ball touches the player i'm going to kill the ball like this and when the ball touches the player we see that our ball or excuse me the player is disappeared from the scene practically we are moving him and that arbitrary position and we are restarting the game as we just saw so this is practically our game and we are finished so we can play it and well the only thing that's left for us to do or check is when we shoot with well our ball so when we shoot and also for the balls i'm going to well uncheck the or uncomment this for the pop sound so i'm also going to small the owls to small to well move I forgot how to say I'm going to lower so finally I'm going to lower the volume nice and so I'm going to lower the volume so that we don't hear it loudly so let me just try now to shoot I don't know if you can hear that so I need to pump it up a little bit so now I think that we can hear our balls popping and our player shooting so this is our well whole game and congratulations on completing it and finishing it so well but we have died anyway this is our game well shoot the ball so again i'm going to try and win it so i think that we can hear the sounds because this will well it will distort my audio well the record audio a little bit that's why i don't want to pop it or excuse me to to well pop the volume up anyway i have died again so i'm not going to play it again you can play it and check for yourself see if you can win or not as i said we are done with our game so congratulations you can play the game publish it do whatever you like what i want to show you is based on this game i have created this game that i named ball panic and inside of this game we have a nice well character select menu where we can select our characters if our character is locked then we can purchase it to unlock it with coins so now i can select my joker character 
click here next select a level and here I have my level so I can play it we have this joystick for mobile movement so I can shoot so on and so forth I can also pause restart the game or go back in our level menu we also have here our shop panel where we can buy our coins we can excuse me buy arrows buy coins so I purchased all of the arrows right here we have our special which we can that where we can excuse me buy double coins remove ads earn coins here by watching a video or sharing our Facebook everything I implement inside of this well game and also we can click here and buy coins that we want so as I said practically this is a game that I create in one of my courses on Udemy and this is the course if I go back here this is that course and well we see the price here but I'm giving it at a discount in the link that's in the description below and just one thing that I wanted to point out each time that I present my courses I have uploaded a couple of videos the preview videos of the games that I create in my courses and I saw some people hating on it I mean is the internet people do stuff people hate on other things I just wanted to point out that in my opinion I think it's better if I do stuff like this I don't want to say okay uh, education should be free and then I ask from you donate money to me no I don't want your donation but I'm selling you my course that way if you purchase it by a discount well by the way so I'm putting it on the discount not the full price the discount one you will get 27 hours of quality content so you will get a quality education you will support me in creating more well courses on Udemy and creating more free videos here on YouTube for you guys if you don't want to do that then it's fine I'm not forcing anyone to buy those courses I'm just putting them out so that you can see that I have them if you like them and you think they are good you can buy them if you don't think they are good don't buy them watch the free videos here or don't watch if you think that they are not good anyway just wanted to point out because I see people hating on it but as I said it's the internet people hate on other stuff but I just wanted to point out I'm not in that donate to me stuff it's better to sell you some quality education because people I don't know pay thousands of dollars per semester on colleges and they still don't learn what they want here for a couple of bucks so for I don't know 10 20 dollars you can buy a course or 29 how much I'm giving in a way I will probably there will be periods that I will give it for 15 or 10 or even less but anyway for that low amount of money you can buy a course with 27 hours of content where you can learn the practical approach and I'm also there for you I'm pretty active on Udemy forums I answer the questions in less than 24 hours I also do Skype sessions with my students which are completely free so I do Skype sessions for an hour, two hours, three hours. You can show me your desktop screen and I can point out the problem that you are facing and, and explain everything to you. All that for that cheap, well, money. And that way you're supporting me to create more content for you and be there for you for any problem that you have. So I just wanted to point that out because as I said, I saw people hating on it, which I don't care. So you can buy the course. I'm not forcing you to do so. You can buy it or not. You can watch the videos here if you think they are good or not. I cannot force anyone to do anything. But if you like, you can share, rate, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and we can learn all together because I want to build a nice community and I'm going to continue with these free tutorials on YouTube, creating these games. And also here I have another course, which is this one. And also, well, this is the original price, but I'm giving it on a discount. Inside of this course, I'm creating games like Angry Birds, Candy Crush Clone, or Candy Crush Style Game, so on and so forth. So you can learn a lot for a low price, as I said. And I'm pointing out again, I'm pretty active in the forums. I'm every day, every day there. And I also do Skype sessions, which are completely free. If you don't want the course, then don't buy it, but you can watch the videos instead. Anyway, this is the end of our tutorial and if you like comment share like and subscribe and I will see you in my next tutorial series